This purple beauty is a bebop bass by Sander de Gea out of the Netherlands. Let's check it out! This is from Basable.com and this year is actually Sander de Gea's personal bass. That's the one that he has around in the workshop and brings to music fairs all the time. With that super cool racing stripe, the distressed look and of course and very much that purple disco kind of finish, this bebop comes along strong on the funkier side of things. The Brazilian rosewood fingerboard with 21 small frets sits on a maple neck bolted with four screws to an older body. A couple of years ago I visited Sander in his workshop where we made a video about him and his spaces. I will link this in the video description below, uh, definitely check it out. De Gea stands for many things, but when it comes to Sander's bebop basses, it really stands for a unique touch. This isn't the 1000 jazz bass inspired whatever bass. This is really something else, something evolved if you will. Listen to this, how effortless she plays and how nice and present this bass sounds. Kinda active, but still very natural. <laughs> The tuners are ultra lights by Hipshot. Top of the game stuff. Same as the ETS bridge. The pickups are Lindy Fralins and they're responsible for some of the dirt you hear in our sounds. If you prefer it cleaner, Sander offers a wide range of pickups, uh, you will find something. The controls are interesting. The first three are your regular volume volume tone, but when you pull the third one out you get a second capacitor. This turns out to be actually a very useful feature. <laughs> The fourth control is just a well disguised switch, it just does this here. Nothing else. Um, if you turn it clockwise, uh, you turn on a little bass boost. Uh, nothing fancy, it's just 2 or 3 dBs of low end that uh, I think becomes especially handy in combination with the pitch pickup sounds really good together. <laughs> Another unique feature about this bass is the neck and especially the neck shape because the back of the neck really is extremely flat, surprisingly flat for such a bass. Um, it plays amazing, it plays of course super fast, it feels like a sports car drives, something like this. Um, and uh, of course at the moment the string action is extremely low, which is possible, it sounds amazing, it plays of course amazing, but uh, of course this will uh, come along with some string noise as you can hear in the sound sample. So if you want to have a super clean, super just only tone, no string noises, then just, uh, yeah, just loosen the truss hot a little bit and you're good to go. Ah, <laughs> what a great bass. Uh, I really wouldn't mind uh, keeping this around for a little bit longer, but Sander has already asked me to send it back because he's missing it. So I guess this one's going back to the Netherlands today. However, uh, incredible bass. Um, if you're into modern kind of jazz basses uh, with, with a bit of a twist, uh, definitely check this out. Uh, go to Sander de Gea's website. I will link it in the video description below. Check his bebops, all his other basses. Uh, really, really good stuff and just the nicest guy you will meet in the industry. Yeah, I guess that's it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, just put them in the comment section below. I will gladly get back to you. And that's it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.